Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Attorney General Merrick Garland is finally putting away the facade and coming straight out with his talk on Donald Trump. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Guys, it really helps us out, especially in an election year, and we really appreciate it. So, Merrick Garland gave an exclusive interview to CNN where he finally showed that he is playing a hand in the Trump prosecution, so to speak, putting the pressure on. Now that the Supreme Court's weighing various issues, Garland is speaking out. And what he said is he wants a speedy trial for Trump. He wants this done before the election. This is massive. The, in my opinion, the attorney general should not be opining on this. That's why you gave it to a special counsel, to avoid the appearance of political bias. And we would never accuse... Merrick Garland of political bias, but, you know, appearances matter. I want you to watch this interview and give me your thoughts on it. Also, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. You have uh, appointed more special counsels than other at attorneys general. You did this because you wanted to make sure that there was some uh, independence from the, the way the, the Justice Department operates. But even uh, the, the president's son, you know, Hunter Biden, uh, is accusing the department of uh, political uh, bias in the, the prosecutions that have been launched against him. You know, how do you re reassure the public that uh, these things are being handled in an independent manner, given the fact that these uh, special counsels do report to you? Look, we have uh, reasserted and clarified the norms of this Justice Department. We follow the facts and the law wherever they lead. Uh, politics is not a part of our uh, determinations. It's, uh, it would be improper, and it's not. Um, where uh, the department has regulations about the appointment of special counsels, and we follow those regulations. Uh, in each case, we have appointed people who are uh, formerly uh, um, veteran um, uh, career uh, prosecutors, uh, whatever their current position is. Um, and they're sufficiently independent from you, you believe? Yes, and the regulations make them independent from me. Uh, so uh, um, with respect to the public, I hope they will see uh, 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 not only from what we've done, but from the outcomes of the, of the cases and the way in which special counsel have proceeded, that we have kept politics out of this. We, you know, the, the, one of the trials for the former president, uh, Donald Trump, is scheduled for March. Uh, you know, some of the polling recently shows that three quarters of Republicans believe that he's being targeted uh, for political reasons. Uh, does it concern you that uh, that this public perception exists, and, and what can you do to try to change that? Okay. Um, of course, it concerns me. Um, what we have to do is show by the acts that we take that we're following the law, that we're following the facts. The um, um, prosecutions that you're talking about were brought last year, um, and the uh, special prosecutor has uh, said from the beginning uh, that he thinks uh, public interest requires a speedy uh, trial, which I agree with. You agree with that. I do. And uh, the matter is now in the hands of the uh, trial judges to determine when the uh, trials will take place. The department has policies about steering clear of elections. Um, is there a date in your mind where it might be too late to bring these trials to fruition? Uh, again, to stay out of, out of the way of the elections and, uh, as the department policies? Well, I, I just say you know, what I said, which is that the cases were brought last year. The prosecutor has urged speedy trials, uh, uh, with which I agree. Um, and this is now in the hands of the judicial system, not in our hands. Do you, do you looking, looking back now, do you think that the department took too long to bring these cases, maybe? No. The special prosecutors followed the facts and the law. Uh, they brought cases when they thought they were ready.